Emosa! Emosa! <laughs> I've talked to her ever since she was in the womb. Ariana. Like when I was pregnant, I would pray like for everything to be all right with Ariana. Well, I was born here in the U.S., but I got married to my husband that uh, that was born in Mexico, and he was just here in a working visa. And once his working visa expired, well, we wanted to be together. So I went back to Mexico in December, and I got pregnant in April. Um, I went for an ultrasound. They had noticed that the baby's head was two weeks off from her body, and that concerned me. And they said that it was like nothing to worry about, but I wanted to make sure that everything was okay, so I wanted to come back to the U.S. because I really didn't trust the doctors over there. Once I came over here, they asked me if I was at a place where there was Zika, and that's when they decided to test me for it. The week before I delivered Ariana, they told me that the Zika test came back positive. I had another ultrasound done, and her head was like five weeks off from her body, and they said she had microcephaly. Mamas don't go too low. Well, when I was uh, giving birth, I was thinking, I was like, oh God, please don't let her have like a really flat head. And then once she came out and I saw her, I was really excited. I see her like a normal baby so far, you know. Um, and I hope she stays normal, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, one of the goals I'll have is to have her start rolling. Well, she has a nurse that comes in and she watches how she's developing, like, is she doing things that she's supposed to do for her age, or is she a little bit behind, and so far they've been telling me that she's like a normal baby. Well, the thing that I'm worried of, like, for tomorrow, that they don't know, like, a lot about Sika and what's going to happen. Well, I think that so far I'm doing good like emotionally, like with all the appointments and the responsibility of like taking care of Ariana and my husband not being here. Yeah, my sister supports me, but it's not the same as like your husband. Ariana. <laughs> so um, babies with congenital Zika syndrome have a constellation of findings and it's pretty common for them to have eye disease. Over 80% of them have it in both eyes. She does seem to have some tracking behaviors, and, and on our vision test, she was able to see stripes pretty normally for her age. But knowing that she has this scarring, we do know her vision will not be normal, uh, and it's just a matter of how, how poorly developed it will be later. I see Ariana like in the future being like a normal kid. Running, talking, going to school. So you like it, Ariana? Ah! Ah! Yeah, you know ah! it's hard, but I mean, if I don't help her, who will help her? <laughs> you know? Ah.